Hi everyone, this is me Supriya Gautam and welcome back to Cosplay Genie powered by Nordwind Gaming. So I am back with another video and in this video I am going to make Cat Captor Sakura stuff. So the base of the stuff is going to be a toy. So without further ado, let's get started the tutorial. So this is the toy that I was talking about in the introduction. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just remove the blue part because I don't need it. All I need is the wheel and the stick. So in order to remove the blue part, I am going to use this cutter and the cutter has to be very sharp. Well, it wasn't so easy to remove this but I somehow managed. So here it is. So now I have the wheel and in the next step I am going to be using this 8mm EVA foam sheet because I have to create some spikes around this wheel. So first I'm going to draw the spike and then I'll measure if it fits perfectly with the wheel or not. So the spike is ready, now I have to check if the size is okay or not. I think the size is okay but the problem what I'm facing right here is it is not Thick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make three pieces of the same spike and I'm going to join them all together in order to get a very thick spike. So for the wheel I need four spikes and in order to have four spikes I will have to cut 12 pieces of it. So here I am cutting 12 pieces of it. If you're cutting thick foam the cutter has to be very sharp because nobody likes uneven edges. So all the 12 pieces are ready over here. So as you can see sharp cutter always makes a difference and here you can see the edges are so even. In the next step I am going to apply adhesive on all the pieces and I am going to join all three pieces together in order to get a very thick spike. Here is the first piece and the second one and next I am going to add the third part joining the third part together now I have a very thick spike so let's see if they are going well with the wheel or not I think they are going to fit well yes they are so I am done with the bigger spikes, now I have to work on the mini spikes and for the mini spikes I am going to repeat the same process. But for the mini spikes I am going to have the actual thickness of the foam. So for that I will only have to create 4 pieces, wow that's a relief. So now let's check if all these spikes are going well with the wheel or not. Oh, that's perfect. So here I am working on the wing of the staff. I am not using any template over here. I'm just doing it freehand. But you have to make sure that both of the sides are equal. So now it's time to cut the wings and of course the cutter has to be very sharp. This is little tricky for me to do because it has a very intricate design. I'm going to cut two pieces of it because I wanted it to be thick. So for the support I am using this old paintbrush and I'm going to insert this into this spike. So as I told you I had made two pieces of the wings so it's time for them to glue them together. So I'm using here adhesive and I'm going to paste on both of the wings. Make sure to evenly spread the adhesive all over it. I 
I'm also adding the supply for a better support between the wings. Well, it was not part of the plan, but I thought that it will give a nice support to the wings, so why not? So make sure you apply the adhesive on ply as well. And now I'm going to stick them together. Yeah, I can feel a nice support. Also applying this adhesive on the paintbrush because I have to glue this together with the wings. Adding plywood on the other side as well for a better support. So in order to give a better structure to the spikes, I am sanding them from the edges. I'm also adding some details on the wings. So for the details, I am using thin strips of 1mm EVA foam sheet. also paint these details on the cross but I would suggest you to create this using EVA foam sheet because it enhances the overall look of the prop. Adding more details to it. See the difference, right? So the wings are ready now. It's time to join this wheel together with the wings, and for that, I'm also adding these spikes on the wheel. Make sure to apply adhesive on wheel and on the spike evenly because no gap should be left. Pasting them one by one. So the bigger spikes are done and now it's time to paste the mini spikes.
So now it's time to work on the lower part and for that I have to add the stick to the upper part. So for the better support I added foam shade on the paint brush so that it fits well. I mean the stick fits well. So now my stuff is almost ready. In the next step I am going to apply synthetic glue all over the stuff for a better better finish. Make sure to cover every part. I've coated the star with the three layers of synthetic glue for a better finish. Now that the glue is all dry and I'm going to paint the wheel golden. Also I painted this spike golden and the wings white. I've added two coats of white color on the wings. So for the center part I've coated it first with the white color and then with the light blue shade and after that I added dark blue shade on it. I hope this video helps and I had so much fun creating this stuff. So if you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below and do not forget to like, share and subscribe Cosplay Genie. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.